Hi there. Welcome back to part two of the popcorn container. In this video, I'll be showing you how to complete the base of the popcorn container. Uh, the pattern starts out with our row one. We want to start in the second chain from the hook. And then it says to SC across, which stands for um, single crochet. And then you're going to end with 14 stitches. Um, and in the pattern it says 14 STS, and STS stands for stitches. And then at the end of the row, we're going to CH one and that's chain one and turn so let's start going through this um, I do want to <laughs> let you know also um, I did complete one of these and um, with the original chain I started with and I felt it was very tight um, and that's where tension comes in and your gauge comes in and you make swatches for certain projects like um, clothing uh, something that you know you need a particular size you need it to be a particular size um, now with Amigurami I'm a rather tight um, crocheter I do crochet pretty tight um, than most and with the Migurami it doesn't matter really what size you're going for um, you can always adjust it to what you want it to be um, when it comes to one of these these uh, stuffed creatures you can make it bigger smaller um, depending on your yarn um, depending on your hook size all of that um, so it's never been a problem when I've made these um, as to what size they are but anyway what I want to show you here is in the pattern it wants us to do um, it wants us to go into the second chain from the hook and this is our hook and if you look This is our first one, this is our second one, our third one, our fourth one. Now that's if you're going to start out like that. Um, I like my um, my work to be pretty flat. Uh, some people they crochet it like that, they go into those stitches there. I go into the stitches down the middle of the back um, of my chain. So I would go into, see this is my first, I call them little bumps, they're like, they feel like little bumps when you run your finger down it, so um, that's what I call them. <laughs> but anyway, that's my first bump, my second bump, my third bump. So we're going to go into the second bump here. We're going to pull through, hook your yarn again, pull through two, and then you go into the next bump. You do the same thing, pull through, pull through two, and the same. And continue on to your 14, and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, now let's check our work here. These are our stitches across all of these V's, so we're going to count one, two, three, four. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we got our fourteen V's there. And it says to chain one. So just as like in the beginning, we're just going to pull one through. And then we're going to turn our work. And you pretty much, you have a choice of turning it either way. Um, I just prefer this way. Um, whatever works for you, I'm going to tell you over and over again. Um, you have to be comfortable um, when you're uh, working on crochet. Um, and if you find something that's easier for you, a better way of doing it, go for it. Use it. Um, I, I do I, just like um, okay when I was telling you about um, my chain and how I like to put it together see this is how my work looks now it's um, actually neat on both ends um, if you were to go into the chain it would have kind of like twisted the work a little bit and it's co more comfortable for me to to go into the chain that way and it's what I prefer so that's how I do it so there's no right or wrong way I mean the stitches are basically what they are but how you get it to that point um, what's comfortable for you I say go ahead and use it because um, it's going to make the project go faster and be more easier for you to to do so um, what I'm doing is I'm starting on this um, <laughs> this is um, our row 2 through 10 and uh, the pattern says we're going to single crochet 14, um, chain one and turn for the rest of our rows up to row 10. Once you get to row 10, you don't want to chain one at the end of the row. So I'm just continuing on here and if you look, this is what makes it easy for me where I'm going into as well. There's these holes if you pull you work a little bit. That's the hole that's right underneath of that V. And you go in and under. You catch your yarn, pull through once, grab your yarn again through two times and then I got my two loops on there so continue on and I will be back when I get to row 10 and we'll take it from there okay so we're back and we have our 10 rows here our project grew yay we're doing something and I just wanted to show you here I ended and I did not put that last chain in my in row 10 so the pattern now says for row 11 we're going to single crochet around the three edges here and to do this we are going to um, place a single crochet into the same space as the single crochet you just made and um, this is called increasing so we just went into this hole here for our last one 
and we're going to go back into it again and we're going to make the project kind of turn if you look so that's what this is going to help when we we are um, they call it INC um, in a pattern it would say INC and that means to increase so this is our hole that we did our um, increase in and then this will be our next hole and we'll just go by these holes here that are along the edge we'll use those um, to continue on so now they want us to single crochet eight so we're going to go not into that space that's where we have our our increase we're going to go we're going to continue on with our our single crochet our and that's one into the next hole that's two Next one's three. Next one's four. So that's our eight. And if you look, it makes the edge very nice and smooth. And, it, and you have your little V's up there on top as to where the other edge isn't very uniform. So that's what we're going for. And then we're going to go to this corner here, which is going to be our first V here on top. And oops. You want to get in that V there. And we're going to do an increase here because this is our corner. So we're going to do one single crochet into there and then we're going to do two single crochets into there so that's going to be our increase for there and it's going to make our work um, uniform around the corners and edge now I want you to do 12 more across and just go into each one of these V's like so you want to go one, and continue on, and I'll meet you here at this knot. Okay, so I'm back here. I did my 12 single crochets, and then we have our last V right here. And that's where we're going to do our increase at and we're going to do we're going to go into the same stitch one time and then two times and we're going to hide this knot and this end of our yarn so what I'm doing is I'm going underneath of it and then over top of it so I'm hiding it inside and then the same as this end we're going to do eight we want to do eight across 
So we're going to single crochet eight across. I'm going to show you how I keep this heading. Now I just keep it right across the top of my work here. And I enter my crochet into my hook into the first hole and then I'm going to take it underneath. This yarn here is going to stay in between my stitches to hide them. We're going to go into our next one. It's two. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what I do here with this end. I'm going to pull my work here a little tight. So I pull some of the thread. It tightens up your work here a little bit. And I take my scissors and I clip that off there. And you see I'll pull my work and it goes and gets hidden in there inside of all of those stitches. And then once we do our eight, it says then to single crochet into the fourth corner. So we're just going to do another single crochet into that last hole there. And what I want you to do right now is I want you to go around the whole edge. We should have a total of 48 stitches. And what you want to do is you want to count from here, that V, and you want to end up here at this V. And it should total 48 all together. And that'll mean that we are on the right track for our pattern. And I will show you how to um, tie off, how to fasten off here uh, once I come back after counting my stitches. Okay, so I have 48. I hope that you have the same. Now, to fasten off, what I do is this first stitch here, I'm going to go underneath there, and I'm going to catch the yarn. Now, I'm going to pull the yarn all the way through, 
and we'll just have the one loop on our work and tighten it up and this yarn will continue to keep coming through and you want to have a tail on the end of this um, because we are going to um, stitch all of the sides and everything together um, with the yarn that we leave attached here so um, I just pull out a little bit that I, what I think I might need I don't know um, just take it by you get used to your projects being you know um, a certain length so um, if you have a little bit extra on there that's fine too so this is what I ended up with and this is the first part of our project so excited um, that you're here joining me and we have our tail here and I wanted to also show you um, because I stated when I first started the video that um, the way that you crochet the tightness um, that you use um, when you're crocheting um, it's part of your gauge your swatch how to tell um, if you're um, going to be okay with the pattern that you're following but the reason I loosened my stitches up was because if you look this is the first one I did and you can see the difference I used a much tighter stitch. It's the same exact pattern, but one is definitely smaller than the other one, and it's because I did stitch a lot tighter with this, but it was more difficult um, to show you my stitches with this one than it was with this one. But I do prefer to um, stitch tighter when I'm doing the Make Your Army. So, um, for you, I am loosening my stitch up and I'm showing you, um, and this, yours might actually be more this size, um, if you have a, a tight, a, a looser, um, grip on everything, um, or it might be, you know, this size if you have a, a tighter grip. But it's going to come down to your how your stitch is, um, how big your project will be, or how small your project will be. They're not everybody is different. So, um, however you um, put the project together, um, whatever tension you do use, um, that's going to determine um, the size of your project. Um, but anyway, I was able to go over a few different things in this, um, uh, part two of our project, um, of, of additional things that you'll learn along the way. But, um, thank you for continuing with me and, um, please leave comments, um, thumbs up below, Sus subscribe to my channel for the latest pattern updates. And I hope to see you next time.